Welcome to VCTV. Hi, I'm Christina and I'm here today in Toronto, Ontario, Canada at the Digital Media Zone of Ryerson University. Let's go find out what's happening. This is an exciting day. I'm here in Toronto, Ontario at the DMZ at Ryerson University with one of the top innovators of the world named by MIT Magazine under the age of 35. Congratulations, Dr. Simranama. Thank you. Thanks very much. So now you're among the ranks of Larry from Google, Mark from Facebook, and Jack from Twitter. How does that feel? Feels good. It's definitely an honor to be part of that list. And I think now it's time to actually build something tangible and showcase the impact of the technology, hopefully as impactful as Facebook, Twitter, and Google. Now, you've been talking about technology and innovation. I want to know more about Flybits. So Flybits, the story goes back to a research lab. It started as a research project, published its papers, trained the graduate students. But now, with the help of Ryerson and Mars Innovation, we spun it off as a company. Uh, to utilize some of those research that we have done and turn it into products and commercialize it. Um, it's, it's a framework. It allows mobile devices to become relevant to their environment. So in the future, you don't have to carry tens or hundreds of apps on your device. You carry one Flybits application that can understand your intention, context, situational data, and based on those, it will give you the most relevant application or service when you need it. Now you've launched Flybits out of the DMZ. What has this experience been like? It has been great. Definitely it has been very valuable to work with students, uh, young talents to contribute to an innovative framework like Flybits. Um, the support that we got from Ryerson University and DMZ was great, uh, both in terms of embedding curriculum activities into Flybits, but also to utilize some of the university resources to expedite our development and business development activities. Can you give us an example of how Flybits is used for the common person? So a common person, think about buildings in the world that are going to be Flybits ready. When you see a logo that this building is Flybits ready, you basically discover it as you discover Wi-Fi zones. You connect to it and you will see all the services that that building or space can provide. So you can have one Flybits ready that become your um, transit assistant when you go to a train station. But when you take the train and you go to the airport, suddenly the application will become your airport concierge. It knows your gate. It knows that you're a frequent flyer, for example, and it can navigate you accordingly. You take the plane and you go to London in the UK or to Tokyo in Japan. As soon as you land, it understand where you are definitely your location, but series of other contextual parameters will be processed to give you the most relevant data that you need at that particular instance. So it is trying to address the information overload. We don't have to go through Twitter, Facebook, Google to go through series of menu items to find what we are looking for. Through protecting your privacy, we are sending you the apps and services that you're looking for when you need them. At, at train station, we will show you where your uh, platform is. At an airport, we'll show you where your gate is, and if there is a delay, we will send you a coupon to enjoy a coffee. When you take your Flybits app to a hospital, you can have an itinerary that the doctor has created for you, and it can navigate you, let's say, from the x-ray department to your doctor's office to the pharmacy. So we are trying to make the world a smart space by using principles of crowdsourcing and context of our computing and really create an intuitive, easy to use interface for end users and also for developers to build intelligent applications. This is such a smart idea. Do you collaborate as well with some of the other um, innovative startups that are here or do you work standalone in the DMZ? No, we definitely collaborate. It's, uh, DMZ is all about collaboration. So we have uh, probably about 43 companies now in the zone. We are collaborating with about 10 of them at the moment, uh, ranging from analytics uh, companies who are specialized in media development, uh, crowdsourcing. And all of them are contributing to our uh, framework. And some of them are actually utilizing our framework to build smarter and more uh, robust apps. Now, given all that's going on right now with your projects, what's next up on the horizon for Flybits? Uh, we are launching the uh, consumer version of the platform. A lot of, our, a lot of our enterprise customers are already using it for uh, cases like workforce management, asset management, and more like enterprise uh, deployment solutions. But our uh, immediate goal is to launch it to consumers so they can come up with ideas around our uh, framework. 
uh, they can make a zone or, or a zone on top of their home. A zone basically is is one of the uh, foundations of Flybit. So you can have a zone on top of your home and let's say do a garage sale to, to your neighbors. So we are looking forward to the launch of Flybit's Lite, which is our consumer version, and see what developers and professional consumers are going to come up with. And that, of course, will contribute to formation of our next set of requirements. Now, are you looking for any type of financing to make all of this happen? Yeah, we will be going for probably another round of uh, financing. We are looking for uh, entities that can grow us globally, um, that can think global. I mean, innovation is global, as is Flybit's. So um, we have a presence now in the UK. Uh, Europe is a key target for us. Um, we will be basing our R&D uh, in Toronto, in Ontario, and we will be growing a lot of our deployments in Europe. So we are looking for uh, innovative um, venture capitalists who are willing to, to invest in the company and also understand our technology and be able to differentiate it with uh, what others are doing in the market. Now, being one of the top innovators of the world, listed by MIT, under the age of 35, I'm curious, what does innovation mean to you? Innovation is about thinking differently. So a lot of people uh, do not differentiate between invention, research, and innovation. Invention, we need that. Research has to be. There are a lot of the impact that we created around Flybits was part of the invention aspect. Innovation is uh, using that invention differently uh, or creating different set of products or use cases out of that, thinking outside the box. Um, innovation for us means that it's global. We don't have to limit it to a particular geographical region or to a particular domain or industry vertical. Um, the, the, the innovative innovation is that how you can apply something which is very generic and, and, and normal and apply it to settings that no one can think of um, and think in a different way and think outside the box. Well, it's been a real privilege speaking with you. Thank you so much for taking the time, and I wish you a lot of luck and continued success. Pleasure. Thank you very much.